Hey everybody, Dave the Caregiver here, caregiverdave.com. Five minutes a day is hammock wisdom. I'm a little out of breath because I had to run to catch a, a train because I didn't want to miss it. Train to Philly so I could take in the sights, get a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, check out Independence Hall, run up the steps that Rocky ran up. So, what I want to talk about today is let me catch my breath here. I guess I need to work out more, huh? Um, I forgot what I was going to talk about. <laughs> so what else does it do? Um, I know it had something to do with... Uh, oh, I know what it is. Um, hey, Nancy. Um, what I want to talk to you about today, some good wisdom. I know it's hard for some of you to believe... But I am really, deep down inside, an introvert. <laughs> and when I was 17 years old, I had a cousin who was very, very extroverted. And I observed him and I saw what he did and how he picked up the girls and how he walked and how he handled himself. Hey, Lisa. And so I learned, because I'm a good copycat, I learned how to appear like I'm an extrovert even though I'm not really. Stanley, how you doing? Looking forward to the show you're gonna be on. Catherine, how you doing? So, I've done a pretty good job, I think, of imitating how extroverts uh, be. But my introvertness keeps coming out like when I'm in a, a room of people I don't know. I am so inclined to just find a nice little corner and just keep to myself and eat my food and don't socialize. But I force myself to be extroverted, to go out there and say, hi, my name's Dave, what's your name? And you know, as, as you know, I came from uh, my TEDx talk in Wilmington, Delaware, and I met 27 of the most amazing people in the world who all had amazing stories. They were speakers like I was. We were selected out of a group of 200. and. Um, Apparently they selected 30, but three decided for whatever reason to not show up. And ironically enough, the whole event was called um, just show up. <laughs> That's 90% of the battle, just showing up. And so every time I force myself to go out of my comfort zone and say hello to someone I don't know, it always turns out great. It always turns out to be an amazing person who I can make an amazing connection with, who I can connect with somebody else and bless their life, bless my life. I mean, every single time, every single time. So I would encourage you, for all of you introverts out there, just find an extrovert that you look up to, pretend that you are him. <laughs> I read a book when I was a teenager called Psycho Cybernetics and it's still on Amazon, the used version. It's very old, but it's a great story about um, this psych... So, no, he's a... Um, what do you call those people who work on your face? A plastic surgeon. Um, a psychologist and a plastic surgeon. And he noticed that a lot of people came to him wanting them to make their nose smaller, bigger, their ears, you know, their eyes, you name it. And he would look at them and he says, well, why, you're beautiful. You don't need a bigger nose, a smaller nose, whatever. And, um, but he realized that it was a self-image problem. And he recommended that everybody, and this is what I did and it really helped me, just see in your mind a big movie theater and the person who you admire the most, who you want to become like on that theater, and of course in those days, I've told the story before, uh, David Niven I thought was just really, really cool, and Cary, Cary Grant, that'll tell you how old I am. And so I would pretend to be them, I would walk like them, I would talk like them, I would hold my cigarette like them in those days. Uh, and so it really, really works. After a while, your brain starts acting like Cary Grant or David Niven or whoever you want to uh, imitate or emulate. Hey, Leon. So that's my advice to you. That's my wisdom to you. We all need to be extroverted because we all need to get out of there. We all need to be out of our comfort zone. We all need to be meeting new people, 
even people who we don't think we want to meet. You know, if you're liberal, you want to meet conservatives. If you're conservative, you want to meet liberals. If you're black, you want to meet whites. If you're white, you want to meet blacks, Asians, Caucasians, Mexicans. You know, you need to uh, get over your fear of different looking people because they're really great people. So that's it. So I'm going to be checking out Independence Hall and run up the steps that Rocky ran up and get a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. I'll take some pictures when I get there. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.